John Alzheimer is known as one of our nation's most recognized credit experts. Having worked for 28 years in the credit industry, John has become one of the most prolific speakers about credit and the go-to authority on answers to credit-related questions. Credit Countdown with John Alzheimer. Hello, my name is John Alzheimer. I am a consumer credit expert. I've got almost 30 years of experience in the credit industry. I've spent time at FICO, which is the company behind the FICO credit scoring system, and Equifax, which is one of the three credit reporting agencies in the United States. And so today's question is about the frequency upon which banks report information about authorized user accounts to the authorized users credit reports so really the question is 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 my bank going to report information to my credit reports if i become an authorized user on somebody else's account this is an excellent question because if the only way for something to help your credit or to help you build credit or rebuild credit or establish credit whatever derivative of that word you would like to use then something actually has to appear on a credit report. You can have all of the accounts in the world, and if none of them are reported to any of the credit reporting agencies, then it's like the tree falling in the woods that nobody heard. It didn't actually happen because there's no one who saw it and it can't benefit you. So obviously, when people are added as an authorized user to someone's credit card, they're doing it for one of a variety of reasons. Number one, they may legitimately need that method of payment and the person who is the primary card holder may be allowing the authorized user the ability to use their line of credit to make purchases for goods and services. Number two, like with me, um, I that's how I established credit the first time in the 80s, the 1980s, was I was added to a credit card as an authorized user to one of my father's credit cards. So for me, it was, it was the, the, the method I used to establish credit for the first time which is fantastic and I think I suspect that a lot of people establish credit for the first time by their parents adding them as an authorized user on a pre-existing account um, and then finally a lot of people add authorized users or add it as authorized users to help them to build or rebuild credit after some sort of a disaster like they filed bankruptcy or they lost a job or they had a business fail or they went through a bad divorce uh, that wiped out their savings and, and really kind of wiped out their credit at the same time. And so they're using this authorized user strategy as a way to, to help to rebuild their credit. And so in order for any of those strategies to be effective, the account has to end up on your credit report. So does the bank always report authorized user trade lines? The answer is no, they do not. First off, there's no requirement for them to do so. There's no law or statute that requires a credit card issuer or a bank to report information about authorized users to the credit reporting agencies. It's a choice and it's a voluntary choice. And in fact, most of the credit reporting system is voluntary. There's no obligation for any company to buy credit reports, to buy credit scores. This is all really a voluntary system. So, well, then how do I find out if my credit card issuer or if the credit card issuer is going to report the information about me to the credit reporting agencies, well, you can figure this out one of two ways. Number one is you can ask the credit card issuer before you're added as an authorized user, or if you're the primary card holder, kind of from that perspective, the primary card holder can ask essentially their, their card issuer, uh, do you report authorized users? So if I add someone as an authorized user to my credit card, are you going to report information about the account to the credit reporting agencies. Then they'll tell you straight away, yes or no. Uh, and then you'll get any sort of variables to the answer like, well, we'll add them, but only after they've been an authorized user for this number of months, or we'll add them, but we'll only add up to five authorized users or whatever, whatever their number happens to be. So you should be able to get some good clarity and context around their policies simply by asking them. It's not national security, so there's really no reason for them not to, to answer the question truthfully. That's one way of doing it. There's another way of doing it, but it's more on the back end, and that's, of course, if you have been added as an authorized user, once you've been added, you put your credit report probably a week 
a, a week up to a month later, because usually the cycle for reporting is once every 30 days, though it could take up to 30 days for anything new to be reported to your credit reports. So you may need to wait uh, several weeks before you can actually validate whether something has been reported. But you can do this by simply pulling your credit reports. And I would suggest pulling all three of them, Equifax, Experian, TransUnion, which you can do for free at annualcreditreport.com. Then and only then will you be able to see uh, that the authorized user trade line is actually now on your credit reports. And of course, if it's there, then it has the potential to actually help you to rebuild credit uh, or to establish credit uh, if you're a young person. So hopefully that answers some of your questions about authorized users and the effectiveness of authorized users and whether or not your the authorized user account is going to end up on your credit report. Uh, if you have any more questions, please drop them in the comments section below and I'll do my best to get to them. Thanks for watching. Have a great rest of your day. We'll talk again soon. For more videos and credit tips from John Olsheimer, go to www.tradelinesupply.com.